got some good news to share involving one of our own right here at WMDF. Stay there. It's 723 and time for some good news and a family visiting from Louisiana. Talk to us about what they are looking forward to this Christmas season. Christmas holiday, we gather and we cook, cook, cook. The Cajuns sit at breakfast and talk about what they're going to eat for dinner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what's on the menu? On the menu, pork roast, rice dressing, candied yams, lima beans, corn. <laughs> All the fixings. All the fixings. <laughs> Uh, lovely folks there and our very own uh, George Hansen, as you might remember, donated one of his kidneys to someone who one year ago was a complete stranger. George and I took a trip down to MUSC in Charleston for a story that is airing later on this week. This, though, is George's kidney donation doctor, Dr. Rice. Uh, the uh, gift of life uh, surgery was almost exactly a year ago when George said uh, that he saw an ad for a man needing a kidney and decided to get tested and wouldn't you know it, he was a match to someone who was a complete stranger. Dr. Rice says they're both doing great. I think anybody who goes through being a living donor is an extraordinary person. Mm -hmm. um, it truly is a gift of life. It, it saves these people who are on, on dialysis. Mm -hmm. um, and changes their lives completely. Mm -hmm. um, it is a remarkable gift and we are so thankful to have people come forward to donate uh, a living donor kidney. Mm -hmm. And we bring in uh, Jamie Arnold this morning and it really was a great reunion for George and Dr. Rice. It was uh, highlighting the, the need for living organ donors in our state and uh, George is a great guy. He certainly is. If you've ever come across George around town, you would yeah. think he's exactly the kind of guy who would yeah. donate his own kidney. So yeah, so happy uh, to have him here with us. Also yeah. happy to see the sunshine back out there this morning. Although with that sunshine, it is on the chilly side. Little